एंड वेलकम टू हेटिप एग्जाम लर्निंग रिसोर्स इन दिस सेशन अगेन वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग प्रॉब्लम सीनियर जो नंबर थ्री फ्रॉम द सी सी ए वन फिफ्टी नाइन सर्टिफिकेशन एग्जाम करेक्ट सो दिस इज द सीनेरियो विच हैव बिन गिवन वेयर यू नीड टू क्रिएट ए कॉम्प्लेक्स डेटा टाइप इन द टेबल एंड यूज इट एंड लोड द डेटा सो क्रिएट ए टेबल नेम रीजन विद द फॉलोइंग स्ट्रक्चर आवर द अंडरलाइंग फाइल फॉर्मेट शुड बी द पार्क विट इन एच डी एफ एस सो अंडरलाइंग फाइल फॉर्मेट शुड बी द पार्क विट फाइल ओके सो नाउ द फॉर्मेट इज लाइक देर हैज टू बी रीजन की स्मॉल एंड रीजन नेम शुड बी स्ट्रिंग रीजन कमेंट शुड बी स्ट्रिंग बट आर नेशंस ओके सो दिस इज एन आर ए डेटा टाइप एंड इच एलिमेंट ऑफ द आर ए शुड बी स्ट्रक्चर डेटा टाइप एंड विद द स्ट्रक्चर हैज दू थ्री कॉलम्स वन इज द नेशन की अनदर इज द नेशन नेम एंड थर्ड इज द नेशन कमेंट सो दिस थ्री कॉलम्स इन द इच स्ट्रक्चर यू वुड बी क्रिएटिंग करेक्ट सो give me a moment i'll draw this and then explain you so now you can see the structure of the table we have three columns here uh, four uh, columns in the table one is a reason key second is reason name and fourth is a r command uh, sorry three third is a r command and fourth one is r nations r nation itself is an array which contains many elements so here you can see in the blue uh, uh, boxes we have seen the uh shown the each element now each element can contain multiple values like nation key nation name nation comment kind of thing so this is the structure you can see for this table so what the question is asking is like create this kind of table once the table is created load data in this csv file uh from this reason.csv file so what we have to do is we have to create the reason.csv file as well so let's move to the solutions and then do this so this data you can use it from here so this is data has been copied so you can you copy directly from here just select this data and right click and sorry not right click control c you have to use it to copy the entire content okay so now calculate the number of nation keys total nation keys and kind of thing this calculation we are going to do this okay so now let's move to the solutions to so create the following table in hadoop exam db database you might not have to create the tables in the real exam for some questions okay so because uh, they will provide you the uh, table as well as sometimes you have to create the table as well as for their uh, solving their problems and storing your data once the problem is solved so you need to be well versed with the how to create the table how to store the data and where to because you know this how to solve the problem but you are not able to store the data in the exam then it would be a problem correct so they they are looking your their your data as an output of your solution not the how you written the program correct so they need the actual solutions your data have to be moved from one place to another place data needs to be filtered uh, calculation needs to be done kind of thing and then data are finally stored and this stored location whatever they provide you have to store that particular locations that is the requirement they might uh, uh, they might ask you to implement correct so now let's go to this and the uh, solution so this is the solution okay our uh, first go to this database okay we are already in this database and create table if not exist name of the table reason and provide the structure to create this table and the stored format is a parquet file format we are are uh, going to store collection items is terminated by comma okay so how your data is uh, separated so you need to be able to understand what is the data separator here so this is uh, this alim one element of our array would be stored here correct so there could be multiple element in the array is possible correct so this is the collections how collection is separated by comma and then uh, uh, fields terminated by pipe each field is terminated by pipe here you can see this is the all fields are terminated by pipe correct so now let's create this table using this command okay just go here and open this impala shell and okay so okay let me show you how to open impala shell if you have not seen the previous video just click impala shell here open the terminal and go use hadoop exam db to use the database in this you want to create and paste this and show tables okay so 
there is some error in the line number 10 what it is saying let me check here just a minute okay so this syntax is not supported by uh, collection terminated by comma or something to impala so let's log in to hive and uh, then do this activity this is a syntax so whatever syntax you remember you have to you try it on the either hive or impala however are very similar for very few syntax are not supported by the impala which is you can uh, execute or using the hive command so you need to be well versed with the like what is like more comfortable should be cloud era impala rather and then hive okay so now show databases okay use same same command you can see a duplicate exam db so now show tables you can see we have created this tables so now create another table and now the syntax should work okay so now show tables so with the hive we have uh, we are able to create the reason table correct now what is the next activity create data files and this locations okay user cloud or how to pick some 101 reason dot csv just go here op uh, go to the file browser and where it is saying uh, user cloud era user cloud era how do you pick exam 101 in my case this directory is already created but in your case it might not be created you have obviously it will not be there you have to create it and then create the file inside this and give the file name what reason.csv okay so create this file create it and then load data with this this data we need to load it or uh, and ignore the header okay we are not going to load the header yeah okay sometimes uh, you can load the header and there are command or uh, one argument is available how to skip the uh, header kind of thing while processing the data but here we'll not going to use the header so let's ignore this right now okay so we were on step number three okay and now we will create a temporary table and each row will have an uh, entire line of the table from this table okay so first create a temporary table create table temp reason name if using the hive only create this table okay this table have been created now point this table uh, load this data Mm, from this table from here to here so it will what it exactly do it will uh, move the data from this part to uh, this inside this table okay uh, which is present managed by the hive okay so this is data have been loaded here and now check select star from reason table limit 10 okay 10 records so select star for, sorry not we have not yet loaded in the reason table correct we have loaded in temp reason table select sorry select star from this table limit 10 okay so first 10 records you can see but here now still this record is one uh, entire row entire line in a single column column name is a data correct so this is the data column name here you can see an entire line but we want to convert our this data in the our structure that we which is supposed to be uh, like uh, uh, given in the uh, this table we are going to store it what we are going to do this we will be using the split function the split function will help us to split the data based on the any characters okay so we'll be seeing like my first element is the zeroth position is the reason key second element is the reason name third element is the reason comment and third element the first of third elements first element is a nation key and third elements first element is uh, sorry second element is nation name this kind of way we have used regular expression here to divide this data so let's select this first this data and from this table 
so we should be able to select this data so you here you can see each data would be uh, separated based on the uh, as we need it now using the select insert into override table and using select statement we will be running this command correct so all the entire select statement here and uh, we are inserting this data using insert override table command so this data would be inserted in this table okay So this would be starting the job and which will load data in this okay table okay so let's wait this job to be get finished okay so now here you can see this is running a map reduce job again to load this data from one table to another table so let's wait it gets finished okay so now this job has been finished now check the data from reason table the data has been loaded or not I'll limit this so okay so we can see 10 records uh, out of this table correct in the particular format if this is array you can see the result in the square format correct now uh, go to the impala shell and invalidate this okay so in impala we cannot create this so that would be an error don't worry about this invalidate metadata and then uh, we should be using all the impala functions correct now because what happens sometimes the functions which is re requested in the exam will not be available in the hive then you have to use the impala and if you have created table using hive and if you want to use in impala then you have to first invalidate the metadata okay so both impala and hive can use tables created by each other that is a very good thing okay so now we will be using this functions to the things which have been asked in the questions to implement is like uh, calculating the count sum average mean max and ndv functions results kind of thing distinct value normalized distinct value correct so i'll run this query and see the result okay so this is query little uh, calculating many things so it will take some time so now result is there so distinct value so each uh, a reason has uh, number of nation keys five and what is the sum of this nation key is 10 our no point business point of calculating this value but to understand how sum and average can be calculated we can see here correct and what is the minimum value of the reason name and what is the maximum value and how many distinct count in each reason nation key so this is the calculation which we have done so that's about this problem scenario number three and thanks thanks for watching and i hope you like this session so i would suggest subscribe to ccf 159 as well as our full length training to get the uh, in-depth uh, knowledge about this soon we will be launching the uh, particularly uh, training with related to the hive so we'll give you the in-depth uh, understanding about the apache hive uh, using the like cloud era and quick vm so you can run this uh, program so if you're watching this video on youtube don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to subscribe using this url so we can send you the regular updates thanks thanks for watching